Hello, my name is Davide and thank you for watching. This training video is designed to show you how to get a license manager running on a Mac operating system. The steps in this video assume you already have a network license file and have downloaded the network license manager for Mac from the Atos website. Please note that there is no graphical user interface for the Mac version of the network license manager. Licenses are started and managed from a terminal window. Locate the License Manager installer and double-click on it to extract the package. A folder will appear called ADLM. Open the ADLM folder and then open the FlexNet folder inside. A PKG file should be present. This is the installer for the License Manager. Double-click the PKG file to start the installation. If your system displays an Identify Developer message, close the message and click the Apple logo System Preferences, and then click on Security and Privacy. Then click Open Anyway, and then click Open. Close the security window and go back to the installation dialog. Click Continue, then click Install. If prompt, enter a password to install, and then click Install Software. Wait for the installation to complete, and when it's done, click Close to close the installation dialog. Next, we need to move the license file in place. Click Go, go to Folder, and type slash USR slash local slash FlexNet server, and then click Go. Locate your license file and simply drag and drop it to this folder. If prompted for a password, enter it, and then press Enter. Next, we need to open a terminal window. We click on Go, Utilities, and then Terminal. Next, we change to the install directory of the License Manager. We type cd space slash usr slash local slash flexant server, and then press Enter. Now we type ls and press Enter. We will see a few files, specifically the file lmgrd and lmutil. Now we need to start the license service with a specific command. In the command we need to use the name of our license file, so we will need to change the license file name in the command to reflect whatever license file name we are using. In our case it's license.lic, so our command will be sudo dot slash lmgrd space minus c space license dot lic and then we press enter. We might be asked to enter our password. There is no visual feedback here, so we just need to enter it and press enter. We'll see a number of lines appearing in the terminal window. Once it's done, press enter. Now we just need to make sure that these licenses are running. So we need to type our command as sudo space dot slash lmutil space lmstat space minus a space minus c space license dot lse and finally press enter on the bottom of the window we should now be able to see the total number of our licenses the total amount and those currently use for other autodesk troubleshooting and training videos please refer to the notes section of this video or search our channel for other content thanks for watching